Retros collect those, bad hoes, I get those Best believe I got a firm grip and can't let go All I wanted was to pull up to my own crib Whipping in my own whip, bumping on my own shit That's exactly what I did I moved the way I move, I live the way I live You ain't gotta like me, cause that's just how it is Hold up. What's happening? Big Bet, Big Bet Creative House Studios This is Bobby Bars JC Banco Slick Rick the Ruler what do I do with my hands? Oh, you good, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can do, hey, you can do whatever it is you want. Yeah. We can do whatever we want. Uh, this podcast is, you know, to talk about our own journeys and, you know, give ourselves our flowers, give others their flowers, their journeys, journeys and processes on everything. So, you know, today we got Big Schwing in the house. Yes, we do. Woo! See that? Wow. <laughs> um, Tell them about yourself. My name is Rick Swain. I'm recording this. I videotape stuff. <laughs> I, uh, anyways, am I putting this up? Can I use this footage too? Are we, yeah. No, we're using this for you guys. We can all use it. I don't know. Whatever. You can, you can use we're recording this. I record videos. I fly drones and I don't like Karens. <laughs> and, yeah. So this is like what? This is the second episode. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Episode number two. Yeah, uh, we yeah we like to uh, have people, or we're gonna start having people come on here and just talk about what they do, uh, their creativity. You know, he does a lot of videos, and I he's more experienced and has knowledge on things that I want to gain more knowledge on when it comes to video production and editing, and he's had a consistent YouTube channel for. Some years now. Twelve. Twelve years. Damn. Yeah, two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. I started out doing airsoft. If like you look BBS. back in my channel, a lot of uh, shooting yeah. people with BB guns. Mm -hmm. That's how I started. It used to be called <laughs> shooting people with BB guns. Yeah. Well, airsoft, which is you know plastic little BB. So my channel used to be called Swing Soft Airsoft. Oh, that's yeah. all it was for five or six years, and then. Um, <clears throat> I uh, wanted to add other other things besides airsoft, so I just changed it to swim too. I know it's fucking not. So now I do like everything and anything. Yeah, lots of vlogs. He actually came in vlogs yeah. to us uh, recording session we did earlier today. We will have one of those up. I don't know about today. Tell them where they can find all your all your shit, all your socials, your swim tube footage, swim tube on everything. TikTok. How do you spell that? Swim, S W E E M, tube, like YouTube. Perfect. That's my last name, Swim. Perfect. You know? Yeah, so basically, this is our first try. First go, second go. Yeah, yeah. Go. So, yeah, what's I always going repeat on? myself, too. Yeah, what's, go, what's going on with this this episode? You know, this guy is who we're actually going to, he's going to be helping us film this, edit it, all that stuff. Um, homie's gonna be possibly joining the team. Then we're gonna have more footage coming out. Yeah, and this is the first time we get to have someone on here, um, have a conversation with them about what they do. So, why not salute the hard working people who are working with us? Because it goes full circle. Like, he's not a rapper, but you know, he can I am a musician, he, he is a musician, but he can use his beats for his videos, you know. And then, and then he can help us with the editing and you know and dudes even told me he you know be listening to my music too he's a fan of we what was we just do. listening to you in the yeah car. yeah we got some artists that that come through that we can you know give some songs to the, the videos that go out on the channel too i'm sure they'll be down yeah some some of them you know so basically these guys are going to sit down with people once a week <clears throat> yeah 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 we, we're going to do like a friday flowers so what's a flowers mean? Is that like a, a real flower? The concept. I think you, you should give them all roses. You're gonna give a bunch of dudes roses though? <laughs> um, no, you know Possibly, like, but. What I'm saying is people um, go give their condolences to someone's life on their grave after they dead. Or they talk about them, you know, once they're gone, then they blow up. You know, they don't celebrate the hardworking hustlers and the people who, you know, until they dead. 
They just want to scrutinize, you know, and at the same time, it's like the process is a motherfucker. And people who made it through that process Mm. and became successful, and whether they're on the rise, you know, just started or been doing it, I would just like, you know, hearing perspectives, right? And other people's journeys and having fun with the stories and shit, getting some comedy out of it, you know? And learning and picking up some game ourselves as long as also as at the same time laying it down. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, this there's a lot of with the whole flowers thing is like, you know, people ignore, you know, the ones at the bottom or even in the middle but when they get to the top and that's when they get the love or the attention sometimes or, you know, even get missed out on that until they you know, something unfortunate happens to them. But like there's a lot of people out here that are still at the bottom or in the middle right now that deserve uh you know some a pat on the back even yeah and and a lot of people have stories that usually wouldn't be told until after they're gone Mm -hmm. you know what i mean so tell your story now Mm -hmm. you know like how was the journey for you with all this editing stuff i know you say where you started with the airsoft but like the journey of what it took to you're still learning every day, right? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and and where you came from to where you're at now and where you see yourself. You didn't always have all this equipment. Oh no. Well and knowledge he, and experience, you know. I'm old. That's I am forty two years old. That's not that I started in two thousand one and I had a production company and we filmed snowboard and skateboard videos. Dope. Yeah. And I filmed with Tony Hawk, Bob Burnquist, oh, a bunch of skateboarders. And, I, uh, say I never knew that. Let's yeah, go. a lot of people don't know that. It was back when you like had these things called VHS tapes. Yeah. And the cameras were like this fucking big. And <clears throat> we um, toured the country uh, doing snowboard skateboard videos. Um, we have a bunch. I have tapes at home. It was it's, the company was called Top Notch Productions. We did it for a long time. Me and my my buddy Shane Turpin. And we would f- go to like, you know, sports shows. Yeah. Like, it's called ASR, so Action Sports Retailer. Mm-hmm. So it's like we're all, everybody would bring all the new sports equipment and stuff to a show where only like the, the salesmen and stuff would go. It wasn't open to the public. Yeah. And so they would look at all the new product and stuff and bring it to the masses. And, you know, I remember being in a half pipe I had the side of waiver and shit, and Tony oh, Hawk is fucking skateboarding around me, and I'm in the middle of the fucking That's legendary. Fight. Yeah, it's... Is this before he was like Tony Hawk? No, uh, no, no, he was... No, this is like... Uh, oh, the games two, were out. Yeah, 2004. Yeah, okay. So, he was, he was really big, and um, that's a long story for another time, because we had a great time. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I met... I met a uh, uh, fucking, uh, who did I meet? James Brown, you know who James Brown is? Mm-hmm. I met the, the, the musician, yeah. yeah. Well, God, God. yeah. I met him, I met yeah, Melissa yeah, Etheridge, yeah. I met Slash from Guns N' Roses. Oh, you know yeah, who that is? I drank a beer that. with that guy. Yeah, <laughs> got it all on video. Uh, it's, if you, uh, you, it's on uh, my buddy Shane's, this is back before YouTube and all that shit. Yeah. So we, if we would have had this, <clears throat> it would have been fucking totally different. Totally different world. It would have been so different. But that lasts for a long time. That's how it started. I can literally tell stories forever. I fell asleep underneath the stage when uh, the band Stone Temple Pilots was playing. It was just like crazy. So we filmed that. It, it, yeah, that's when it started. So you've always been kind of like around film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. that was, uh, yeah, it was fucking awesome. What was YouTube like when it first came out? Did you hop right on that? Uh, I got on in 2009. I believe YouTube came out in 2004 or 6. But that was like the video. If you watch the first videos on YouTube, they're pretty bad. Yeah. The first one was called like A Day at the Zoo, and that was from the creator. And I watched that the other day, actually. Yeah. I could go forever, though. I, yeah, I remember when it was pretty early. Man, I, I probably could have got into stuff like that 
Cause when I was living, boy, it was that dial up, man. So we couldn't do shit, but yeah, the old dial up. Tied up the phone lines even. By the time I can remember, YouTube was like a thing. Actually, I think I probably was watching YouTube when some of the first videos were coming out. But like, I, I thought it was already established. Yeah. Pretty much. By the time I was able to use it. Those guys who started YouTube sold YouTube for eight eight billion dollars. How long ago was that? It's it's a long, a long time. They sold they sold it to Google. That'd be Google a long time owns uh, YouTube. So. Yeah. That. Now that I think about it, back in the day, I fucking thought of shit like that before it came out, you know? Right. And it, but yet I never did anything about it, and then... That shit happens to me all the time, man. Dude, yeah. But, okay. so that's what, I'm gonna be honest with you. That brings another conversation, like, when do you, at that point, tell yourself, I'm gonna make my dreams and thoughts come to fruition? Instead of just being Tell like, myself Damn, every I, day. No one's gonna believe me. I thought of that shit before it came out, but someone else thought of it too. You know, um, okay. it's not about jumping on every single idea, but when you, you know, when you got ambitions to do stuff and you're a creative cat. That's like why we building this big bet creative house. You know, um, we're doing good things. There's a lot of good artists coming in. We're staying full. I haven't even been really promoting the studio time like mm -hmm. that yet, but. We got a lot of good talent coming through. People consistently breaking bread. Oh yeah, I recorded three different artists yesterday, full 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 day. And yeah. Got a recording session later tonight. We well, gotta do another one tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nine to twelve. Some regular. A lot of long nights and early mornings. So. They, oh. We've just been steady grinding like that, trying to. Like yesterday, I went and had some. Went and had some meetings. Ace Boogie Place. Place. Went and had some meetings with uh, some clothing cats about some merch. Mm -hmm. That shit's gonna be on the way. It's gonna be available. We're gonna have a store up here soon for you guys to get all that. Uh, there's so much on the way. A lot of music. We're shooting a music video this Friday, hopefully, which, if you're free. Yeah! Are you gonna, where are you gonna film it? Some different locations. We, yeah, we got some places. We you have. let me bring a uh, sin whoop. Sin whoop. Sin whoop. What the heck? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> sin whoop is a cinematic drone. Any commercial you see on TV where there's. Then we got drones too, but I want you to come and do at least some vlog on it. Dude. No, no, I'll do whatever the fuck you want. Basically, right. you can throw that thing on a sin whoop and it. It fucking gets amazing fucking footage. Damn. Like, I could like float in front of your face. I could like go around you, go underneath your legs, Damn. and then outside the house, and then like 2,000 feet up and dive down on the house and shit. It's fucking sick. It's called Santa Whoop. Santa Whoop. Santa Whoop. Cinematic Whoop. A whoops. Whoop. The word whoop. All those bros got that. A <laughs> whoop. No, dude. It's... I was like, what's up, cuz? He's probably got a floater. You talking about somebody who's got a drone? No, yeah, he's, he's it's he's, a floater. It's probably a photo drone. I call them floaters, like a shit in the toilet. Oh, okay. Yeah, because it's like I got one too. I, Anybody I, I can personally don't know what kind of drone he got, but by all means, bring that. And I think next time we shoot another episode, I got fifteen. <laughs> fifteen drones? <laughs> what do you need fifteen drones for? Cause, cause I got one for every hey. fucking camera angle you need. You can fly one through a hole this big. That big. Yeah. You watch my YouTube channel, you know. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> you look at me like that. Place. Ace is trying to get all up in this Place. episode. Hey, if y'all didn't know, that's Ace Boogie. Place, G. He's got his own TikTok. Yeah, he do. Um, look at them ears. Yeah, he's the homie. He's our mascot. We might even get him on here singing in a bit. Do you sing? He does. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. He go, um, hard with it. he go hard with it. That's the glory about this. Editing. We kind of just say whatever the fuck we want. Yeah. And then post-production. Cut it out. Yeah, that's... 
that's what, that's what you need for. A lot of times, like I'll be, I'll be talking to the camera and I'll give it, I'll, I'll tell the camera to do something, and then that tells me when I'm editing it to do that, whatever it is. Like mm -hmm. I'll be talking and I'll be like, oh, well, you got, we got a new music video coming out, right? Let's go to that music video and then throw like 10, 15 seconds snippet of it, like a teaser, yeah. into the editing, and then come back and be like, oh, well, there, there was a music video, you know, shit like that. Mm -hmm. So, like the video I did last night, I was talking about how I was growing a Carolina Reaper mm -hmm. plant. <clears throat> you like, man, I like hot sauce and shit. Yeah, yeah. So I went, I'm growing a Carolina Reaper. Here's pictures of it. And I threw in some little music and I showed like some still shots of the Carolina Reaper and I came back. Stuff like that. Pretty fucking awesome. That's mm -hmm. dope. That's yeah. dope, yeah. So, when we, you know, next talk about, you know, on the, one of the other episodes, we can even talk about that day or when we do, you know, get some B roll from the vlog type stuff we do in the drone footage you get when you bring your whoop over. I'm gonna bring two, three, two, three, four whoops. A swing whoop. A swing whoop. God, that'd be cool, swing whoop. You can't say like five times swing whoop, swing whoop. You can't, man. Like, it can't be man shit. I watched that movie, it was Did you watch that? Yeah. I mean. It's not like the old one, huh? That's what you're gonna say. It never is. Candyman can. It never is. I don't know. Listen, I, I respect, what's his name, Jordan Peele? Yeah. Uh, he's a creative cat, dude. Um, he's the one who did the Get Out mm -hmm. and the, um, Us, the uh, Us. Yeah. And, you know, the all black films. He's, he's comes from comedy, too, though. His. his yeah. Have you seen Keen Peel? Yeah, I've known him about dude since he was on that show, the sit the, yeah. the one show. What was it called? The the comedy show? Keen Peel. No, before that. Saturday Night Live? No, this other one. Uh you don't know what I'm talking about? Okay. Not Saturday Night Live. They had the other show that was kinda like that though. What it was like improv? Yeah. It was yeah. called, uh, damn, that was my favorite show when I was a kid. It was well, better who, than Saturday Night Live. is it anyway? No, no. Jeez, man, Wait, that's old. No. Wayne Brady got a slap of bitch? No, what is that show <laughs> called? Dude, that Dave Chappelle was the shit, dude. Yeah. You did that, ugh. Yes, it was. So, Bobby Bars. Yes, sir. Where do you come from? Shoot, where I come from? I come from the wishing nigga woods. <laughs> Can I go there? Was that a place? <laughs> Graduated with honors from School of Hard Knocks. Uh, no, I'm originally... That... Oh, I'm a... <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? I'm originally from uh, Seattle, Washington, G. Phew! I was born in Seattle. I was born in Piala. I went to Stadium High School in Tacoma. Mm. That movie was filmed there, 10 Things I Hate About You. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, it's filming Stadium High. It looks like an old fucking castle. But yeah, I'm from Seattle. Uh, I'm sorry. Just basically lived Pacific Northwest my whole life. Been out here in Vancouver for like eight, nine years. I like it out here. I bought this house like five years ago. You own it? Yeah. That's fucking awesome. Yep, I'm just trying to have to pay for itself and this is my pivot man and I'm using it to be able to create fluently and give other people opportunities as well <clears throat> which is why we came up with the Big Bet Creative House studio concept um, yeah a month into it's been bringing money in oh well, you only in a month yeah you ain't really? gotta tell them how much money you but no, 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 no. Already, no. already got a podcast going. Ten no. million dollars. <laughs> yeah. That's why we got this Shoot. awesome backdrop. Uh, <laughs> hey, no, hey, you already know. Listen. Oh um, shit. My lady said she would help us do some decorations. He's got a lady. I don't remember what that's like. 
<laughs> you were wild. I, dude, I had a, what do they call it, girlfriend one time? Mm. I was engaged. engaged. And she scratched my Jeep with a key. <laughs> that was a deal breaker? Fuck yeah, it was a deal breaker. <laughs> no, she did. The, I had to have the whole yeah, no. had what, driver's side fucking all What you're weird. not going to do. That's what you're not going to do. Oh, scratch my fucking Jeep. My, my window is still broken right now. And I don't know if it was the girl I was with that did it. She did it right in front of me. Oh, well, then you know. She's lucky I didn't kick the shit she out of She looked at you in your eyes while she Me did. and my mom. Watch her do it. <laughs> she did it in front of your mom, too? Yeah. In front of my mom and my dog. She sounds like an asshole. Bitch. She sounds like a little yeah. asshole. Jeez, well, that's why I fucking took my ring back. It's sitting in my room right now. I got a fucking six thousand dollar wedding ring. I don't know what to do with it. Oh no! I'm gonna make it into earrings, maybe a cock ring. A <laughs> 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 wee. What? I these, oh, she bought me these too, which is I wear them because these came from an asteroid that hit the planet. You got anything to say to her? Who? Nicole? <laughs> You know what's just weird? Is she's she's still a, she's still a subscriber to my YouTube channel, which is fucking weird. Because you can go on your YouTube channel and see all your names. Is yeah, she's still subscribed to my channel. So she probably watched this. I talk to her all the time though. I've talked to her on YouTube. This ain't, wouldn't be the first time. Yeah. She probably watches my shit. I almost drove by your house the other night. <laughs> what were you gonna do? Nothing. <laughs> I was just gonna drive. I was just this driving. <laughs> I almost did. She was. I, she's a nurse though, so she's probably working her ass off right now. Huh. I can't imagine. Probably got COVID. <laughs> she was a good, good worker, hard worker. <coughs> what you not gonna do? What you not gonna do? But yeah, it's funny. How can you be a nurse and have bipolar at the same time? It confuses the fuck out. Cause she was crazy. Mm. She wasn't a mental nurse. Why'd she, why'd she key your car? Uh. You don't mind me asking. I don't know. She had two beers. <laughs> she said it was getting good. Oh, they were angry orchards. So they were a little bit stronger. <laughs> uh, She's like, oh, set it off. Set it off that night. Oh, God. Thing is, is I dated her when I was 19. And then... 1920, I met her at UPS. I was a manager at UPS and she was one of my workers. And I eventually got fired because I was dating my employee. Mm, yeah. Yeah. And then we broke up because she had sex with two of my friends, my cousin and my friend. So I happens. Back in 2002. And then. You're way too nice. And then I went to the doctor to get looked at. And you know how the nurse comes out and calls your name? It would fucking hurt. Oh, so you gotta re <laughs> reconnect. After oh, 10, 15 years of not seeing her. And then we got back together and I. Forgave her? Yeah, and then I proposed to her. After like 10 years, you gotta let shit go, huh? Oh, well, yeah. She proposed to her. I did. What do you mean? Hey, I'm not, you know what? And she said yes, and then. <clears throat> My mom was gonna give us the house, and then my mom was like, "No, I'm not giving you the house." And then Nicole got mad and scratched my teeth. Oh, bro, I'm gonna tell you something. I think we should have stayed mad <laughs> because if it would have hey, on to a grudge for ten years. Because if you would have stayed, or like you know, if you would have stayed mad, then your Jeep would never. Oh, I'm got mad scratched. now. Well, she paid to fix it. I know, but yeah, that's true. She did pay to fix it. That's this is bitch. principle. Oh, shit. You pay to fix it, but you still did that. Knowing it was going to cut you deep. Deeper than that. Yeah, I don't really care anymore. I got these earrings out of it. <laughs> they come good. from a, a yeah. meteor that hit the ground. Oh, yeah. They did. <laughs> They're from space. Go from a meteor? Yeah. Yeah. It's a thoughtful gift, right? Yeah, that's yeah. what they said. Hell, yeah. Yeah. That's oh. dope. Shit. Hey, so what we got coming up next? <clears throat> what does Swing Tube have coming up next? Oh, the one chip challenge. I'm gonna film it when I get home. I'm gonna do that with uh my new renter. She lives in the garage. 
<laughs> you guys do the chip challenge. Well, the garage is a we made it into a one bedroom apartment. Yeah, you got it's really it. nice actually. Uh, she goes to school at WSU. She's from Seattle, believe it or not, and uh, she's eighteen. Hmm. She's cool. Yeah. I'm thinking about doing that same thing with this garage too. Eventually. Yeah. Don't let the city know you're doing it. Fuck the city. Mm-hmm. Fuck the city. They don't know we got we did ours. Is it like an Airbnb type of thing or something? No, well, no, it was, it was just a party room. So. Well, and then, how'd you advertise that? Room? We didn't. My mom's. Did so my mom's friend who lives up in Seattle, because that's where we come from. She knew. Her coworker had a kid coming down here. who was going to WSU, which is out in Salmon Creek, and my sister goes there. She needed uh, a place to live, and we have a one-bedroom apartment, and we don't really do anything with it. So <clears throat> that happened. Mm. She's really cool. She's a really good artist. Anyway, What's chip challenge. Artist? One chip challenge. One chip challenge. Yeah. What's that entail? Explain. A hot fucking chip. It's like. You can get them on Amazon, they're called Pockies. And it's a little like eight bucks for a chip. And it's doused, it's doused in ghost pepper and scorpion pepper uh, resin. Like, like uh, why the you, extract. Why would you do that? Why would you put yourself to that thing? You had to order it, huh? You ordered oh, it? Fuck yeah, especially. Eight dollars? Yeah, eight dollars. Damn. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be hilarious, you gonna post on TikTok? I'm gonna post it on TikTok. I'm gonna cut a fucking video on TikTok that's under three minutes because TikTok only lasts three minute videos. And then I'm gonna do the longer version on YouTube. You're gonna and be crying. That's gonna be I don't know, man. I'm good with hot sauce. I'm good with that. She's gonna be crying because I wanna make Isaac do it. And that's my rant. Hmm. So that should be interesting. What? I was gonna bring him over here to you guys and film it, but I didn't know if he'd do it. So. Oh, that would have been fucking hilarious. I would have done it. Oh, fuck. You well, would have? I don't like hot, so I know it's gonna be. I'm gonna be pretty hot. But I still, it I still cool. do it. I still do it. I, I like, like too spicy. I like obviously. spicy shit, but like I ain't gonna purposely burn myself. I'm not one of those people that eat some spicy shit. Be can't like, die from this it. is nothing. Because, because, just not because it's, you can't. Just because it's spicy doesn't mean it's spicy. I didn't say it was. Because it's hot. Die from it. I want to do it now, just just to film this shit, because I know I'm be like hyperventilating or something. That's the whole point. That's why I want to do it. Those, yeah, those natural like body reaction shits are hilarious. You know, you all probably seen it. That big black lady that did like the uh, cinnamon challenge. Oh and yeah. She choked on it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. I see would. That. that shit had me fucking giggling, nigga. And I, I'm a grown man. I'll be giggling, but that shit had me giggling. You're giggling. Gee. I couldn't stop laughing at that. Well, I should have brought it. I'll bring. I'll. I'll buy some more. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. It's fucking seven dollars for one potato chip. It's like a big chip. No, it's just a regular. I'm in the wrong chip. business. It's like this big. I'm in the wrong business. But it comes Man. in a, a coffin box, shaped like a coffin, which is kind of they, fucked We up. are in the wrong business. Yeah. They go. They go take one bag of chips and make you know, a couple hundred dollars off. <laughs> oh, That's a jug. Well, there, you don't want to. You're not gonna eat a bag of those chips, bro. No, no I'm talking about it. the people that make the chips. They the got flip, one bag the of flip chips. on a bag of chips, man. <laughs> flip on a bag of chips. <coughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I fucked up. I should have brought the chips. Yeah. I should have. No, I'm saying, but the flip on it though. Me and Bobby do it on the next podcast. <laughs> I'll bring you know what? I'll bring over I'm growing on, I'm growing the Carolina Reaper pepper right now and it's like hydroponically I ain't gonna do it. Like you grow wheat, but I'm doing it with peppers because I love hot peppers. It, there there are two point two million Scovilles. I mean you know anything about Scoville, you know what uh <clears throat> Tapatio is? Yes. Yeah. It's fifteen hundred Scoville. So the pepper's two point two million. So they can kind of put it in your head a yeah. I can't do it. We what what do you mean? Just say you're gonna eat a chip. No, I said I was gonna buy a bag of chips and try to buy all them ingredients and start bagging them up individually. You can do that. Chicken. You don't want us to see him cry. I don't need to be out here sweat, <laughs> sweating and hyperventilating in the camera. Like, y'all know how I'm gonna react. You're gonna be like, well, this is not that bad then. 
No. It's going to creep up on you when we start I'll, sweating. I'll be up here like... <laughs> oh. Nigga, I don't even be up here breathing like I'm pregnant. You know? I'm cool, man. <laughs> like I'm in labor or something. Uh. <laughs> you know? I want to see it. I'll be sweating. My forehead baby be oh, popping out like Look at mother. Bobby Bars over here. My forehead baby be popping like my motherfucker. You know it too. Y'all are stressed out and shit. shit. <laughs> got you. You're going to take off the do rag finally. Yeah. I got a haircut on Thursday for our video Friday. Your haircut already looks cut. Your hair is already. I don't know what for, man. I was looking at that yesterday. You do got that. Mexican kind of like the <laughs> hair. You do gotta got that hair. What the fuck does that mean? Because <laughs> he was telling the other day about how, he, how people, you know, try to say he looks like Hispanic or something. I think you look human. Yeah. That's all I said. There'll be motherfuckers come up and be like, "Hey, where are you?" Hey, I said, "Human." Yeah. No, what you mix with? I said. See, I hate that <laughs> shit, man. I don't see colors, and I don't like that. I said a little bit of this and a little bit of that. A little bit of this and then a song. <laughs> My hair is just a giveaway. They just like. What? I mean, I be having Rastafarian. Wa- I be having waves and shit. When my hair is long, it's like a looser curl. I got like a natural Jerry curl. When my shit long. I used to have that shit dripping. I might even bring that motherfucker back. I won't bring that motherfucker back. But no, I'm just regular light skin. My pops is. Black, my mom is black. My pops is a little light skin. They're like Creole and shit. I don't think I'm 50 50. They're my, like a Korean. My, my brother took that little test and we're like 40 some percent. I found out my white side is from India. You know what? No, Every no person shit. on the planet has black person DNA because we all come <coughs> from Africa. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Facts, we are. Yeah, yeah so I agree with that. I, we all not, look Yeah, I know. I don't, there's certain motherfuckers that well, you come up on here and talk some shit like that, like, no, we come from this. Who the fuck says no, that? No, we, we are definitely all from Africa. We all are. So we, we, we gotta be from. dumb. The farther you get away from Africa, the lighter you get. Well, there's reasons. It's because you've moved into a different climate. And yeah. if you stay there for long enough, your fucking chin, your skin changes due to your environment. <laughs> Bro, I be going You're a through, product of your environment. I be going through phases of like looking shit up like that, you know? And I went through a phase with that. I think I like got up on it from watching some of the Joe Rogan podcasts and shit. Oh God, don't go down that. <laughs> <Dude, some laughs> of that bro. He got COVID. He's all oh, does he? Yeah, he got I don't know if he's got an, he had it. <clears throat> a motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't see color. Never have. But I, Never do, have, will. I do have a track. Coming Let's out. hear about it. Let's call. Track? Oh, it's called Hold Us Down. Uh, I actually just got it back from Mix and Master. That explains a lot of that. You heard that one. Mm-hmm. It just talks about, you know, people uh, tell me I'm too black to be white, too white to be black. This, that, and the other, but you know what? At the end of the day, I am who the fuck I want to be. Who the fuck says that? Well, ever since I grew up, you know, I would get, I it, I would get I it from never, both sides. I never grew Mixed up. Makes people with struggles. It's a light skin struggle because it's like, you know, as much as you, it's like I couldn't go with Joe in the clan meeting. You know, what <laughs> what, <laughs> you know, nor would I want to, but I'm just saying, like, I so couldn't you either because I then, blow that shit up. But then there's just mainly like white people who would be like, oh, you're white. And you're not too black, but it'd be like the opposite way around on some weird shit. But it's like at the end of the day, I'm so multicultural that I'm kind of country, a little bit city, you know, the hip hop stuff. Like I do the woodworking stuff. I built this table. Like, Did you? It's yeah. beautiful. <coughs> yeah. Excuse me. I built that table. Another one in there. Um, Vision, all the other type of stuff, you yeah. know. You do do um, stuff that. Just being creative, <clears throat> using my mind, doing my thing, and that's what it is like. The bowling. I never, I, uh, <laughs> the you bowling? bowling? 
bowling. He's, yeah. This what? dude's a sick bowler. No, he's sick. You better you're come. Man, you better vlog him bowling. No. Don't bet him money. He he'll spin. He'll do like a spin, like two times in a row, spin uh, strikes. Like he, he gets strikes every. Like he'll I'm get four league. strikes in a in a row. I'm in a bowling league on Where at? Mondays at Hazelville. Oh, I'm the president of the league and on at Crosley. So. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you <laughs> I gotta... have been for eight years. Let me know if you need a sub. <laughs> no, uh, fuck Crosley because they're they're condemning the place. It's being yeah. sold out. Do you need a? You got a full team? Mm -hmm. Fuck. But I could put you down as a sub. Yeah. Right. I'm a fucking USBC card member. So. Nice. Easy. This dude is. Yeah, one of the buddies came and bowled with Dude. Things. What's your handicap? Fucking minus three. With a 230 average. Jeez. Yeah. There you go. I'm not there yet. Yeah. No, I, I bowl like Freddie Flintstone. Yeah, I bet. Twinkle toe. <laughs> I fucking, everybody, yeah, everybody calls me Freddie. Man, I fucking look weird. I look weird. Well, when you bowl? Got your own balls? Hell yeah. yeah. I got. Yeah. You know, never to bet someone that comes with their own ball. I'll yeah, fucking yeah. throw honeys down. I'll throw so honeys yeah, down. Got, Let's I got, go. I got four balls in my sh in, and then I got my. I didn't shit. know you bowled. What the fuck? Yeah. I went bowling for my birthday. And my birthday was last I, Friday. No, and I told you where I was. I told you. I was oh going. yeah, you did. Fuck. I'm gonna think about that shit. I remember. I'm <laughs> fucking. Social media. I was what? like, don't go there. Like, come over here. Cause uh, my shit's you didn't over say there. that. You're like, ah, but what in Hazeldale? I'm like, I do too, but I don't like the blue gutters. It fucking distracts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they do. They have a hot bartender oh, though. <clears throat> and that one girl, she's really young though. She's there on Friday, but she leaves before five. So you probably haven't seen her. <laughs> Are you watching this? You're gorgeous. <laughs> this guy. Yeah. She's like 22 years. <clears throat> she always smiles at me, but I think it's because I tip her so much. <laughs> That's what they do. Yeah. Have you bowled at uh, the new round one? <clears throat> the new one in the bowl in the mall? You got. We gotta go there because I went there to the, the little arcade with yeah. uh, Shorty's nieces and nephews. But dude, uh, you gotta hit the, everything's brand new, and they have you can pick different ways to bowl on the screen. Dude, I want to go bowl. Well, that's, 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 yeah, my, my balls are at home, and I can bowl without my balls. And my shoes, because I got, oh. Well, that's why I just keep mine in the locker there. Yeah, well, I'm, I've been going to Crosley for fucking 20 years, and now I just, hate their lanes. Well, they, it's that composite. It's horrible. But they just sold it, and they're condemning it, and they're going to build It's a classic place. I remember going there. They're going to the build apartments there. They're condemn. They're knocking it down, yeah. That'd be such a big They got, like, venue. nine months left. They're done. I've been going there since 95. Damn. Shit, that's over 20 years. Is the business not been good? No, it's been fine. They just, they've been there forever. They didn't pay their taxes for a minute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> They're sick of it, though. I mean, I know I'm friends with the owner's <coughs> daughter and the son and everything. They're, they're yeah, done. No they're done. And nobody wants to keep the bowling <clears throat> thing going, so... So I gotta go somewhere else. So Damn. I'm looking for a, a new league to join. Yeah. But I usually do Friday nights. But beer league. They call Friday nights beer league. Yeah. Because it's Friday night. I do Monday nights. It's on the Cosmo. We actually bet money and shit. Yeah. And we like you know do I'm like a raffles big like rap, raffles for like high game and shit. Yeah. I fuck shit up too. Monster fucking up. I don't bowl. Last time I went, gutter, gutter, gutter. I gutter, actually gutter. got a whole game. Yeah, we recorded the whole game. game. <laughs> mm -hmm. really? And yeah, I actually did pretty nice. I mean, it was like, I bowled like a 230 yeah, or I, something, but I, like, I picked up hella hard spares. There was some that I like never even imagined hitting. Yeah, he kept hitting the balls like, you know, <clears> it'd be like one or two pins in there and he'll throw like some crazy spin ball in it. And I'm just like, Cause I throw a backup ball too. Yeah. Oh, me too. Yeah. So like, I got my reactive ball and then I got my plastic ball. Yeah. Buddy, buddy came there and was wanting to bet him on winning the game, and then after he saw him throw those two, throw two balls, he like the, the first two shots, he was like, no. Nah. <coughs> He's like, no, nah, this is done. That's hell of illegal. <laughs> you can't yeah. even bet on bowling. It's such a stupid. They can. It's illegal though. They let you do it at the. Oh, I know. Oh, you can, but it's illegal. 
I did all that. Why do they got a sign that says you can do it? They do? They got a sign? It's, I mean, it's a league. It's like... Well, I know, but... $5 games or something. Money on yourself. That, that's, that's different. You can do anything under $1,000, I believe. Mm -hmm. But, whatever. <laughs> Damn, people want to bet over $1,000 on a bullet game? Dude, you I thought how we used to bowl $100 a game. What do you mean? It's, it's the same as, like, motherfuckers betting on horses or dogs. Yeah, but if you're doing it though, if you're bowling, that's way more entertaining. Oh hell yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's, it's not like you bet on yourself to go play basketball, but bet on yourself to like go. Yeah, that's crazy. Thing. You will be betting on roosters and shit, cockfight. <laughs> that's so fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think bowling, bowling is just, just, just different. Mm. I mean, when you're betting on yourself, and you've got to create. Does that want to push you to go harder? I used yeah. to play like a dollar frame. That's good. We play bowling poker. You play bowling poker? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We, we bet on that too, like five bucks a game. That's so like good. every spare you throw the card, every strike you throw the card, but if you get two strikes in a row, that's two cards, you only have five cards in your hand at all times, and the best hand at the end wins the pot. Hey, one of our podcasts is going to be poker night too. You play poker? Like a lot yeah. Yeah, I can play poker. I don't even know how to play poker. Texas Hold'em. It's easy. We it's pretty trouble. easy. <clears throat> but yeah, we just do a few dollar buy-ins type shit. Yeah. That should be cool. But anyways, JC, what you got coming up around the line? Man, more beats. Um, I'm actually trying to get a project going. Project coming soon. I want to shoot by having most of it completed in October. But that's all I got for right now. You know, um, I'm just continuing to try to build this up. I actually got some shirts coming soon. I think I'm gonna go with the one guy. What the fuck? I was tweaking, huh? Taking pictures. No, yeah, yeah, um, shirts coming soon, highly favored. Got design with a little baby angel holding an AK-47. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go and post production. Ace place. Ace place. That's fucking weird. I've never seen it do that. I might just be with the, the Bluetooth. But hey, what do you got going? <laughs> what I got going <laughs> around the line? Bobby Bar. <clears throat> Bobby Bar's got going. Well, listen, we got the Big Bet clothing line coming through. We're still moving along forward with the Big Bet Creative House. Uh, we're upgrading, st steady leveling up. Uh, Trying to convert another room in here into another space. Like I said, you ain't gotta like me. You ain't gotta like me. Say that I'm too white feet. Say that I'm too white feet. You ain't gotta like me. Say that I'm too white feet. Every shorty trying to wife me. And it's all on high key. You ain't gotta like me. Falling off and not like me. Do the right thing like Spike Lee. I decide, no, you can't find me.